Hello guys, welcome back to Boxy Gaming and Feeder Beast, yes. Now, in one of my previous tutorials, which I did over there somewhere, um, I noticed this church here, and I thought it was a whole village up here, but um, I found something very, very weird. Oh, whoops, don't want to break his crops. There's a church here with a villager who wants to sell me enchantments on my iron breastplate, which is nice. Um, and that's it. There's a farm, and there's a well. That's it. There's literally nothing else. I don't know where the rest went, but there is literally nothing else. It's very, very strange. Very, very strange. Anyways, I thought I'd do the tutorial here because it's kind of interesting. I tried to uh, find some cool places for my tutorials. Makes it more interesting. Right, so whilst uh, Mr. Bob looks on, let's have a look at a project table. Now, I've been using these in all my tutorials, but I haven't actually explained what it does. So the project table is an upgrade from the crafting bench. So to make a project table, you also need a crafting bench. Um, so you need some smooth stone, some um, wood planks. I'm using chestnut, but you can use any planks. And a chest and a crafting bench. And that will make you this nice little project table. Now this thing you can place anywhere, for example, here. Now, a project table is the same, exact same as a crafting bench, as you can see here, with one big advantage. So let's get some wood out and let's make a chest. Now, normally, if you wanted to make, say, eight chests, you would have to split all these items up, and it's just annoying, right? And then when you make it, it's gone, which is quite, kind of annoying. So what you can do with here, with the project table, is you can use this two-layered or two-row uh, of, um, of um, interface, you know, of inventory. So here, you can put any materials you want so you know many people usually have some iron in there and stuff you know stuff you usually use a lot and what happens now is that when we pull out a chest this will stay in here and it'll get eight block eight wooden planks from the inventory here pretty cool isn't it now this really helps it, it makes a big difference with making items so that is one nice little nifty thing you can do the other very, very cool thing about project tables you can do that has just been added. Uh, it was not in Ticket, um, but it is in Feed the Beast with a new version, of course. And those are called plans. Now, you might have noticed here on the left side that there's an empty spot here. Now, that's where we put our plans. So, first of all, you need to make a blank plan, which is very simple. You just get some sugar canes, get some paper. And then you combine that paper with some indigo dye. Now, indigo dye is made by just putting an indigo flower in your um, crafting area, right? So we can do that, and there we got two for one flower. Now, the flower looks like this on the floor, so pretty easy to get. Um, there has been a problem, I don't know if it's still there, with these flowers spawning in any non-vanilla biomes. If that happens, all you do is get some bone meal and you right-click on the ground a few times. And then... It'll spawn grass and some flowers, and these will spawn as well. Not always, but, but they will. So that's one way of getting it, which is pretty easy. There's other ways as well, but you have to uh, Google for that. I'm not going to tell you everything. <laughs> so once you get the indigo dye, you just uh, combine it with a paper. There we go, a blank plan. And I've got some here in my inventory already. Now, let's head back to this project table. All we do is we'll, we'll keep them in here, just, just for good measure. We'll put one in there. And we make this chest recipe again. Why not, you know? Now, as you can see, when I make this recipe, once any item is here, um, it'll show this little icon here. And that will make, that will mean make this recipe and store it in this plan. So if we click this, now we have a chest plan. And it'll show us what we need for that A times chestnut wood planks. Now, um, there is a little bit of a weird thing sometimes um with these so you can put normal oak wood in there as well but it will say chestnut wood planks because that's where you made it from the first time not a big deal not a big deal now the other cool thing you might have noticed is that see we need two more um and we take this out and we only have two planks in there it'll tell us okay you've got two but you need to get six more pretty nifty now this is mainly used for just, you know, there's sort of annoying things that you have to make a lot. For example, pistons or electronic circuits or machine frames. You know, all these things, things that you need to make so often and they're so annoying because they use like 10 different items. Um, just make a plan, very simply. Um, once you do that, 
say, oh, I have to make a chest, put a chest in there, make sure you have wood in here, and bam, chest, or another one, bam. If you have a, say, I don't know, you want to make a crafting bench, let's make a plan for that as well. And what you can very easily do now, you say, oh, I need a chest. Okay, get two. Oh, I need a crafting bench. I don't have wood. Okay, you can make a crafting bench. Very, very cool. All right, so that is pretty much everything you can do with the project table. It's a very, very cool item. I can't do it without it anymore. So thanks for watching. That was the project table in under five and a half minutes.